why someone may be your friend or your colleague is getting interview calls but not you or is it like companies are giving more preference to one candidate over others in this video i'm going to be answering all these questions so watch till the end because i assure you by end of this video you'll have a lot of things to do on your profile and your projects Hi guys, my name is Utsav and I'm a senior data scientist at Oracle. This is my YouTube channel where I keep posting data science content for your knowledge and your career aspirations. So let's begin. Let's take one company for example, Flipkart. What do Flipkart do? Flipkart is an e-commerce, right? It is an online retail store, right? So it serves the customers based on their needs that they can go online, they can buy products. So basically it's an e-commerce portal, right? So what do you think that they will be needing in a candidate? Is it that they want a candidate very good in finance or they want a candidate who has good knowledge in their domain and the technology that can serve their domains? Okay, I'll make it more simpler to you. Let's say there's a company, there's a bank like JP Morgan or Morgan Stanley and they have projects coming in related to finance, related to investments or stock market, right? Now, if a candidate who knows uh, more about time series analysis or who have done time series predictions or who have worked on finance data before and there's another candidate who has worked in a e-commerce or a retail store or he has worked absolutely in a different domain like healthcare now at that point of time a preference will be over this candidate because he already knows about this domain so that's what happened in the industry so when you start applying for the jobs look for the companies that they are well suited for your projects and for your domain. So if you're an experienced professional, that means you have already served in an industry and to, to some industry, right? You might be serving healthcare or finance, right? Or manufacturing or anything. There are very different, different verticals in this industry and you might be serving anything, right? But before you start looking for a job, look for the company that can be well suited for your profile. Okay, and what I do is I create at least two resumes. One is for like uh, specific targeting jobs. For example, if I'm applying in Flipkart, Amazon, right, or Walmart, all these are like retail stores, whether Walmart is an off offline retail store or Flipkart and Amazon are the online retail stores, but Mintra, all these things are retail stores right but let's say on the other hand we have JP Morgan we have companies like Oracle all these companies so I create two different resumes and I have done a lot of projects right and in your resume you keep like three four projects at least and not more than five projects because you just want to show top projects you don't want to over uh, fill your resume right so create two different resumes and it is not necessary that that one particular project should be your industrial project only and you can do projects as part of your own learning and your own purpose right i have done a lot of projects that i have done for on my interest now what to do with those projects that you do for your own self or to put into your resumes now you just do one thing at least the project should be in a working state right it should be it should be not just a model that do some prediction it should be an end to end it should it should have an ui it should have a back end right it should have a database right and it should be completely packed api kind of stuff and you have to deploy that so today we have a lot of lot of things that can help you deploy your projects whether it is heroku aws google cloud and a lot of things are there so deploy your projects and it should be like you you should have an active link of that right that you can put in your resume or your linkedin profile so that will boost it and that project will not go wasted even if you have done it alone even if you have done it not as part of your experience so create two at least two different resumes to target specific jobs if you are targeting finance have some projects related to time series analysis or sales forecasting right and if you are targeting anything like walmart flipkart right then you should have projects related to recommendation systems or anything related to customer experience or analysis or natural language processing so if you talk about my career right i have switched from tcs to 
Samsung. So that time I was working in TCS as part of the recommendation systems and things like that. And when I went to Samsung, the work was somewhat related to that. That's why my portfolio, my resume was shortlisted. And when I switched from Samsung to Oracle, that was the same situations, but the domain was different, but the technology, but the problems that were like time series analysis or recommendation problems that, are, that I was already working on were the same. So that is really an stand apart factor when you start looking for jobs. So don't just throw your resume anywhere. Do specific targeting search. At least create two, three portfolios and have your projects related. Uh, a segregation should be there in your projects and your domain should be specific. For example, if you are applying for a healthcare industry, let's say you are applying for a General Electrics or Novartis or any pharmaceutical company, then at that point of time, you should have some projects related to uh, computer vision or anything like that because they are really using computer vision to enhance like breast cancer detection or X-ray imaging, all these stuff. But if you are targeting anything related to, let's say, manufacturing, then sales forecasting, inventory management, right, or raw material forecasting, all these kind of things become more relevant. So make your resume more relevant to the domain of the industry. Your skills and all, it's good, but your domain should be very, very specific and clear because this is what, what an HR seeks or hiring manager seeks when there are bundles of portfolios there or resumes and you have to select only a few. So let me just wrap it up. And the first thing is create projects, have projects that are related to some specific domain. Don't have a different, different domains of projects in just one resume. For example, you can't have a project related to e-commerce, finance and healthcare, all the, all the ones in just one single resume. Have different resumes for that. Okay. And the second thing is if you have projects that you have done by your own, right, then you should have end to end deployment on the cloud so that you can provide link on your resume as well as your LinkedIn. And the third thing is connect to the people on LinkedIn that are working in your same field and tell them that you're also working in this field and you are that's why interested and very good fit in their team, right? If you follow these three simple things, I'm sure that you will get more interview calls in your career. So before we end this video, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video because I keep posting good data science content and I need your support to grow it. And in the next video, we are going to talk about how to build awesome resumes and portfolios for data science jobs. So see you in the next video.